Welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. I'm Kevin Loco. Last time we ticked down, uh, took down the rocket warehouse and got the sapphire. And now we can actually trade with um, Pokemon that are in the Hoenn region. But we have not done that yet, so uh, I'm not going to do that yet. Maybe next time. Hint, hint, wink, wink. This time, uh, we went through the first half of. Uh, Six Island by going down. Down, down, down. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Anyway. Uh, let's use a repel. Because we got plenty of them. Uh, trying to avoid battles. Damn it! You're sick of seeing swimmers. Well, you're not wrong. Well, you're not wrong. Holy crap, Gyarados. Like, I'm trying to power through these videos. Um. For educational purposes. I don't know why you used Rain Dance, but okay. If I remember correctly, uh, Gyarados at level 50 learns Dragon Dance, which is a very powerful move. And if I did have a Gyarados, I would actually use it because it's a really good move. It increases both speed and attack by one stage each time it's used. So that's pretty powerful. As you can see, there's a bunch of different trainers here. Let's see what this guy wants. My height is 67 inches on the button. So you are, I believe, five foot seven. And that's uh, actually that's uh, that's actually my height, believe it or not. What are the odds? No item here? Wanted. The ultimate horn. Hera, Hera, Heracross. Big and shiny. It's the bug boss. Love it. Need it. Heracross. Uh, I believe if you show her a Heracross, uh, it measure, eh, she measure its horn. Because she is very... No, I'm not going to do it. No. I'm not going to say it. Yeah, that would have been... Um, well, you guys, if you're smart enough... Well, I'm not saying that people aren't... Well, some people are smart. Some people um, take a little time to process things. And that's okay. Um... But, uh, some people could figure out where I was going with that, and, uh, I don't want that for the channel. This is the Pattern Bush. Uh, if you're looking for said Heracross for that person, this is where you find it. Uh, it's pretty... Like, it's pretty, um, rare to find, and it's at a pretty low level, but Heracross is an amazing, f um, bug fighting type. Its attack stat is ridiculous, and it's pretty bulky on both offense and defense, or, or bulky on defense on both sides. Uh, I would highly recommend Heracross because it's one of my favorite Pokemon. I love using Heracross. It is a beast to use. Outcast Island. Dodging trainers. Yeah, I, oh, I'm trying to remember. Altering Cave. I don't remember what's in here. Uh, I, I seriously don't remember what's in here.
I don't know if this was supposed to be something. What's in here? I feel like I wasted my time. Yay for that. All right, you know what? I'm digging out of here. But yeah, that is a quick, um, actually that was a pretty quick, um, way to move through Six Island. Like I said, I will be battling these trainers off screen. So now is Seven Island. All right, last island is Seven Island. Virtually untouched in its natural state. It could be a little difficult to hike around because of that. So I would, I guess I'll heal. Thank you for waiting. I'm starting to poke on to full health. Hope to see you again. Yes, uh, let's hope that my Pokemon get injured to use our free healthcare. Huh, that was a trap. Trainer tower ahead. Alright, Drasil. This is the trainer tower. I'm here to see how good I am. Uh, let's see. Never mind battling these stairs. They're tougher than any battle. <laughs> uh, this is like a time challenge where you go up, I believe, 10 floors, I believe. Oh, you can actually buy uh, hyper potions here. Well, that's good to know. Alright. Uh, we will be doing... Uh, trainer tower in another separate video now seven island is the longest of the Sevi islands and there is a lot to explore not many people come out here if i train here i'm convinced i'll get stronger and stronger yep stronger and stronger how would you like to move uh, learn a move like that it's called sword stance Ooh. Uh, who can learn sword stance? Oh, that sucks that no one can. Uh, sword stance is a move that um, raises and attacks at um, two times in one turn. It is an incredible move. Like, if you have something that could learn sword stance, learn it. Please learn it. Like, I promise you that you will not regret it. Like, it is a fun move to use. And again, say uh, say you have a baton passer. It turns whatever Pokemon you baton pass into, into a wrecking machine like no other. And if it's fast, oh boy, you're going to have a lot of fun with that. Blossom. She has a bunch of them. Uh, she must have uh, sunstones on sunstones on sunstones on sunstones. Uh, let's see. Let's use flamethrower. There is going to be a lot of battling. I'm trying to avoid all trainers. Because that will be off-screen stuff. Which... It's going to be a lot of work. Alright, let's see if I can avoid train. No, it's okay. I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to run away from battles. That's cool. I swear. Like, I can't catch a break. 
Dodging trainers left and right. Sevel Cannon Entrance. Alright, so looks like we're heading to the Sevel Cannon. Canyon. I can't spell or speak. Like most times in my life. Why? Why do I do things? Why do I do things? Mill tank and Tauros. Oh my god. The, oh, the history I have with that damn mill tank. And if you saw heart gold, you'll feel my pain. You'll feel my pain. You know what? I am going to use all that I can to get rid of this thing. ASAP. Go away. Oh, it feels so good. I'm cool with Tauros using Thrash. I am actually cool with that. We need Strength and Waterfall to knock it out. Hooray. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I... Is a loser. Uh, let's, what's this? A nugget. Ooh, I have like four of them now. Alright, I believe this is the Tenobi Key. Alright, uh, we are going to use strength here. Hooray for strength puzzles. This uh, strength puzzle is kind of important. Alright, let's use that one. I'm pretty sure I botched the hell out of this already. I did. Okay. Now let's try this again. All right, Kevin, I need you not to be stupid. That's one. All right, let's move this up. Uh, let's see. Let's try this first. I think I have an idea. All right. All right, let's do here. Go up. takes care of them. Third time the charm. Now don't screw this up, Kevin. Don't screw this up. The mysterious rumble echoed somewhere far away. Remember this. Alright. Um, 
over here, you can actually find the Pokemon Larvitar. Um, it's a Pokemon that needs a lot of training to evolve fully. But if you're willing to do that, I promise you, you will be rewarded. Tyranitar is a godsend on offense. And with the ability Sandstream, it makes this thing a pain in the it makes the thing a pain in the ass for all those who fight it. Like at one point I was considering dumping one of the Pokemon for Tyranitar, but no. I'm not gonna do that because I'm not a jerk. Although I tend to be sometimes uh, when it comes to these Pokemon Let's Plays because I am very indecisive on Pokemon. Uh, like, for example, uh, for, uh, using, uh, uh, I was thinking of using Jinx instead of Mimeon, or Aerodactyl instead of Dynamo. Yeah, but, I mean, I can't do anything about that now. Ursaring. Oh, man. Uh, Ursaring is a Pokemon that's, uh, it's very aggressive. It's very aggressive. I mean, that's how I could describe it. And I wouldn't be wrong. I mean, Drasil is going to get a lot of training done through these videos because I need Drasil to be as high level as possible. One max elixir. Who is this? Training by oneself is certainly not a bad thing. But it's also not bad to aim for the top with a partner. Even Bruno. He has trained with a fellow, uh, a fellow by the name of Brawly before. Yeah, uh, that's a, a Pokemon. Uh, a trainer that's... Um, we haven't uh, met yet in uh, my channel, but we'll do soon. Well, I can't really promise that. Like, I can't really promise uh, a lot of things with uh, my Let's Plays. I will... I don't have Rock Smash. I believe if you go in here, you get a lucky punch. Uh, that increases Chansey's critical hit chance. Dance, dance, Chansey, dance. You join in too. Dance, dance. Sure, I'll dance. And guess what? It's a uh, it's a Pokemon Center. And I used uh, that Hyper Potion for nothing. All right, over here is the Tenobi Ruins. Uh, using the Tenobi Key. Uh, let's uh go to the town map. Yeah, there are a lot of stuff in the Tenobi Ruins and all that stuff. Especially the Tenobi Chamber. Dilfert Chamber. I would have to... This is unknown. There are... At this point, 26 type of unknown. Each one representing a letter in the alphabet. Uh, this is where you find unknown. There are multiple chambers in this area. Each one having a specific number of unknown. If I could. Never mind. Never mind. 
why would the uh, why the hell the game would uh, make me write about something for once? Because it loves trolling me. All right, I believe there is. I hate everything. This should be the. A mystic Pokemon is said to sleep inside here. I don't know if, uh, whether you call it mystic or not, but... Why do you have a Geodude at level 48? Just let me fight three Golem. How... Uh, mm. Th that is so stupid. Like, do you just want uh, one of each of the um, um, family? <laughs> I mean, I get it, but it's still kind of stupid. And you don't even have a golem. What kind of shit is this? What kind of shit is this? You are a disappointment. And well, that's bad taste. Come on, Kevin. I believe that, yeah, the Moen Chamber. We got an A! A! Oh, was that necessary? Probably. Um. But yeah, that's really all there is to the uh, Sevi Islands. So that will be it for this episode. Next time, where is one other place we have not gone to? And it will probably be a bit before I show this because my Pokemon are very low level for what's about to happen. So I would like to be prepared. So that'll be it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Take care. Uh -huh.